Hey YouTube, so today is kind of a blah day, which I don't really want to focus on because don't focus on the negatives when you suffer from occasional depression. I am about to make, it's still raw till four, but look at what I have. Do you see it? Do you see it? It is raw bread-ish, something like that, and put it in the dehydrator overnight. It is like solid, you know. It is ground up tomatoes, um, corn, a little bit of onion, and a small, small amount of coconut. And because I'm down in the dumps, I'm treating myself to two really overpriced treats from Whole Foods. This is coconut water with coffee, and it's so, so good. The bitterness really counteracts the sweetness of the coffee, but it's like over $5, and I wouldn't have gotten it if I didn't have a gift card. And then I have this juice that, as far as like cold-pressed juice goes, $4 for this is not too bad, but obviously not something that I'd be buying every day unless I was hella loaded with cash. So I'm gonna put some lettuce in my sandwich bread to make kind of a raw vegan, like, I know lettuce sandwich sounds kind of boring, but that's something that I like because this lettuce is so fresh. Look, it comes in its roots. And I believe that I can find some way to replant these, though I'm not entirely sure what way that is. Um, I'm just gonna peel some of the leaves off and it's super like buttery smooth and really, you know, not sweet like romaine lettuce, but it's definitely flavorful. Oh my God. So I've had a couple bites so far and it's so flavorful. Anything dehydrated is just so, so flavorful. You need to get on this train. It packs a punch. Now I'm about to read through Plant Based Judy's ebook, and I'm super excited about this because she has a low fat vegan cheesecake. And if you ever struggle with wanting a cheesecake but needing it to be low fat, then you gotta check this out. Plant Based Judy, follow her on Instagram. I'm doing more promotion for her than I do for myself, but whatever. I felt like this is gonna show up. My skin has kind of been breaking out um, since going raw till four. And this is something that a lot of people describe as like a detox, like you're detoxing. And I don't normally get breakouts in my everyday life, but um, I'm getting them now. Some people would like maybe stop if they got breakouts, but it's not a deterrent for me because I just feel so good. And I can't get like too caught up in the whole breakout thing. A lot of people have breakouts. My hand looks so small in that I had to redo it. Anyway, what I was saying is if you get really caught up in these little physical changes like breakouts or bloating, then you're gonna take away from the huge amount of benefits you can get on raw till four. There are so many long-term benefits. That's what it's all about is long-term benefits. Don't focus on these little things. Keep trucking, keep pushing through. Don't let a couple breakouts stop you from achieving your goals. Now my hand is bigger. So this is my setup right now on my tiny living room floor. Um, I put a blanket down so I can do more yoga and get more like active when it's gross out and just encourage doing more yoga. Now I'm just watching Durian Rider's channel and I think that after this I'm going to go for a little bike ride. Tell me how you like um, these camera videos versus um, the webcam videos. I know that they... Hold on. There we go. Um, they're definitely not as stable as the webcam, I know. I love how easy they are. If you've noticed the change in the intro, if I'm uploading from my phone, I can't 
do the same intro that I had before. So also tell me if you like this new intro and um, I do miss the sound effects so maybe I'll find a way to make that happen even if it's just like literally recording the sound effects. And yeah, I'll update you soon. Thank you.